What does confession and repentance look like? Confession under the old covenant meant reviewing one's sins. But confession under the new primarily means agreeing with God. Confession in the old, I have sinned, here's the turtle dove, priest, please atone for my sin. In the act of that, I'm actually reminded, I'm about to do it again, because this isn't working, because I was just here yesterday. So my sin is ever before me. And in what we want from people, we want their sin ever before them so that we can see repentance. We will actually take the place of the lawbringer and the accuser to our brother until we see a sufficient level of repentance, emotional penance, that we can now absolve them because they must really mean it. They've cried. When it said, agree with your accuser quickly, lest you be surrendered to the bailiff and the bailiff to the jailer and you be put in prison till you pay to the last cent, How often are we the ones keeping the ledger down to the last emotional scent? So confession in the Old Testament meant reviewing one's sins, cataloging them and confessing them with full knowledge so that there weren't any, to the degree possible, we were not hiding any sins but transparent. So I would confess my sins. But confession in the New Testament is a different kind of concept. When I confess in the New Covenant, I'm confessing God's goodness. I'm confessing His nature. I'm confessing His provision. I'm confessing His atonement. I'm confessing His promises. I am agreeing. Confession in the New Testament is to agree with God's promises and ways. Repentance in the Old Covenant meant turning from sin, but repentance in the New means turning to God. These are fundamentally different. I can turn from sin all day long and not be one whit holier than when I was mired in my sin because holiness is not in reference to sin. It's in reference to the completed work of God. So I don't turn from sin in an old covenant way. I turn to God and find in Him the answer to my issue. Reviewing your sins in the vain hope of earning forgiveness or fellowship will ultimately leave you more guilty and sin conscious. It's what we talked about. The former issue in the old covenant of reviewing my sin and, and uh, uh, turning from my sin required a change in behavior. But the latter new covenant idea of metanoia means changing my thinking. I can focus on changing my behavior and I can change my behavior, but I will not change my nature. But if I change my thinking, my behavior will follow. Subtle difference with profound consequences. The sort of thing we do of confessing to be forgiven is often a faithless work of the flesh because we think it's the formula God wants. You send, okay, see if this sounds familiar, Like an old covenant system, you sinned, bring your sacrifice of confession. Bring your sacrifice. It better be a one for one. Right? We often hear, you need to make a catalog of all the stuff. Don't leave anything out. Something might get forgotten. Something might not get forgiven. You come to God with 10 turtle doves, but you got 12 sins. You got a balance of two in the hole. Where is the fullness of Christ and grace upon grace in that system? In contrast to that sort of process, healthy confession will always leave you focused on Jesus and his finished work. As the Pharisees showed, you can turn from sin until you're dizzy, but it won't make you righteous. However, you cannot truly turn to God and not leave changed. You cannot truly turn to God, fall on His mercy, receive His grace, move in His Spirit, and not have the holy virtue of God in Christ in you manifest 
in a transformed life. You can't turn to God without leaving your old life behind. That's repentance. Repentance.